guys? Welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be learning, we'll be moving on rather to th chapter 13.2, which is the double angle formula. Okay, so let me just list down the lesson objectives. We will, we will learn how to apply the double angle formula to evaluate expressions, prove identities, and solve some trigonometric equations. Okay, so what's the double angle formula all about? So basically, we will be looking at three, three types of the Three forms of the formula rather the sine formula the cosine as well as the tangent double angle formula okay so the sine double angle formula is given over here as sine 2a equals to 2 sine a cosine a so since you are pretty new to this you must be wondering what is 2a okay with respect to a so 2a is simply twice of a so 2a is an angle that is twice of a twice of a so i mean mathematically speaking 2a is just 2 times a where a is an angle so a is an angle okay so the sine of 2a is equals to 2 times the sine of a times the cosine of a okay and the cosine of 2a is given as three forms over here so to to distinguish them let me just highlight them for you cosine square of a minus sine square of a that's one form of this formula two cosine square of a minus one that is another form of this formula and lastly one minus two sine square a and if you're wondering why is there a need for so many forms okay we will look at them in further detail in greater detail rather in the next few examples and finally, the tangent of 2a is given as 2 tangent a divided by 1 minus tangent square of a. Okay, so why is it called a double angle formula? Because we will be learning how to break down double angles or twice of, of the angles. So like for example, 2a into the singular form, which is just a. Okay, let's move on to look at some tangible examples. In example number one, a is an acute angle. So for those of you who have forgotten what's an acute angle, an acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. Okay, between 0 to 90 degrees rather. Okay, with cosine A equals to 3 fifth. Without using a calculator, evaluate sine 2A. So if A is an acute angle, then using our ASTC diagram, this should be my, this should be my angle A. Okay, and since the cosine of A is 3 fifth, so the adjacent, remember remember that cosine A is adjacent over hypotenuse is 3 fifth. Okay, and using Pythagoras theorem, we can work out that the opposite is just 4. Okay, so from cosine of A goes to 3 fifth, we can see that the sine of A is given as opposite over hypotenuse, which is just 4 fifth. Okay, so from here, with these two pieces of information, how do we find sine 2a? So sine 2a is just 2 sine a times cosine a as you can see from the formula on the top left hand corner of your screen and from here we will substitute the values in. So sine a we found earlier to be 4 fifth, cosine a we found earlier to be 3 fifth. Simplifying this we will just get 24 over 25 and that's it we're done. Moving on, example number two. If sine A is equal to three quarters, fine, without using a calculator, the value of cosine 2A. So actually, if we make use of the correct form, or rather the more convenient form of this cosine 2A formula, it will be very easy to solve this simple expression. So recall that cosine 2A, there, there are three forms for it, and one of which is one minus 2 sine square a, which is what I'm highlighting over here on the top of your screen. Okay, so I will use this piece of information to convert cosine 2a to become 1 minus 2 times sine square a. Okay, and at this point in time, let me also remind you guys that sine square a is equals to sine a square. Okay, and uh, so simplifying this, so sine a is 3 quarters. And we have to square it and using our calculator to evaluate this expression, I will just end up or I'll just arrive at 
negative 1, 8. Okay, so that's all for example number 2. Let's move on to example number 3, where we will make use of the tangent double angle formula. Okay, so given that tangent 2a is equal to half, and that 2a is between 180 degrees to 270 degrees, find tangent a in third form. So we will first convert tangent 2a to the right hand side of this formula over here. So we have 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent square a equals to half. So take note that I'm actually making use of this formula over here. Okay, and this is just the left hand side that of, the, of the equation you see over here. So the next step, I will cross multiply. So 2 tangent a times 2 equals to 1 times 1 minus tangent square a. Okay, and then shifting every th all, all, so shifting all the terms to the left hand side of the equation, I'll just get tangent square a minus 4 tangent a minus 1 equals to 0. Okay, and then the next thing that I will do is to evaluate this. Give me a small error here. This should be plus. And then using our formula to evaluate quadratic equations. So this will be negative b, which is negative 4, plus minus square root of b square. So 4 square minus 4a c over 2a. Again, evaluating this, I will just arrive at negative 4 plus minus root of 20 over 2. Okay, and we can we can further simplify this. Okay, let me just do it on the right hand side of the screen over here. So tangent a is equals to negative 4 plus minus 2 root 5 over 2. And simplifying this, I will just arrive at this expression over here, of which one of the one of the answers will be eliminated re or rather rejected. Why is that so? Recall that if the range of 2a is between 180 degrees to 270 degrees, then the range of a should be between 90 and 135 degrees. Okay, so meaning to say, since we are in the sine quadrant, uh, be, okay, because 190 to, to uh, 135, sorry, 90 to 135 degrees, we are into the sine quadrant. Therefore, tangent should be negative. Okay, so tangent A should just be negative 2 minus root 5. Okay, where negative 2 plus root 5 is actually rejected. Okay, so our final answer would just be tangent A equals to negative 2 minus root of 5. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and more examples on this chapter, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see you for now.